Hey, you want a snack? Ugh, no way, man. I'm trying to cut down on those carbs. Oh, that's too bad. I could have sworn I saw one of those Yoohoo boxes in the fridge. What's happening? I'm kidding. Oh, she's giving me this look. Welcome to Bloodwork, everyone. That's Brian. That's Andy. Ugh. And we're coming to you from campblood.org. We're here to discuss uh, episode 11 of season 4 of True Blood. But before we do that, we have a special message. Hold the presses. A special message for Sergeant James <laughs> Napier <laughs> in Afghanistan. Currently, um, your lovely wife, Sarah, asked if we could say hello to you. Uh, from her and your four beautiful children, and we also would like to say hello and best wishes and uh, thank you for uh, you know the service you were doing for your country. We know you can't watch True Blood there, and that you kind of keep up with what's going on via Sarah. Keep up the great work, and we hope to have Amazing. you back, back soon so you can uh, watch season five, which will hopefully be better than this episode. <laughs> Where should we start? We should well, start. Well, let's just start at the beginning. A very good place to start. Um, Moni, Hurricane Moni oh, has girl. blown itself out. So she kills a witch. Uh, Casey? On, on self-defense? No. No. She was just heading for the door. Let her go. You just said, if you want to go, there's the door. Go. Mm -hmm. So, and then you just throw a dagger in her chest and kill her? Well, She's like, oh, my cutlery just whoops. flew off the shelf on its own. Jesus pretends that Casey isn't dead yet, and he takes Lafayette into the bathroom, and then they spend <laughs> three, like, I know, <laughs> meet me in the ladies' room. They proceed to, like, make potpourri for the next three hours or something. They're in there forever, it feels like. Yeah, a little too long. But Marnie's harnessed the power of the sun. And so the vampires are outside for, like, three hours, while well, Jesus is in the bathroom for three hours, and Marnie is, like... <laughs> like being passive aggressive for three hours and holly and Sikir are like come on let's like try to negotiate you know the, the with a crazy person who's possessed by another crazy person so it's just all kind of cray cray and it just blows up literally in jason's face i can't see well you know what your face is falling off so no wonder you can't see anything <laughs> yeah you look like a half pound of ground round so he and jessica okay. read kindle but apparently Jason would be hot for her and can't stop thinking about her. Even He's if he already. didn't drink her blood. Yes. Pam so. is being a bit of a brat and she like breaks a car like a like a Cartier. Vintage Cartier, she breaks it yeah. to get it off of her. Which was not a very smart move. And then she kinda just is saying these nasty things. And Eric and Bill both agree to to die for Suki. Okay, I'm gonna kill you, and then Pan's gonna kill me, and then everything will be okay. What the? What the? No, there must have. Please tell me there was some fake out that was gonna happen there because that was not. It seemed a bit too easy and quick. Yeah, and then at the end, after they killed Marnie, they were like, kind of like conferencing in the corner, and like neither of them went to talk to Suki. Like. So it seemed like they we're were like, strategizing. Oh, Silly, you want to go out for pizza? Later? Like, yeah, great job with that, uh, you know, yeah, dual suicide oh, thing, right? They're totally sure. worked out for Oh my god, yeah, so, uh, let's go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, so check, check it out. Oh, hey, Suki. Oh. And Suki was just like over the there, part. like. Yeah, she was pulling a Tara. T Tara, who had like three great one liners this episode and did nothing else, really. When, wasn't she a kickboxer like a couple weeks ago? And we had a body count. We had Marnie got killed. We had Roy. Who oh, got, thank God. I hated Roy. He got juice boxed by Eric. Yeah, redneck body count. Him and Marcus. They're going to have to get a big casket. Just for the forehead. Just for the forehead alone. Alcide killed Marcus. What the hell? Yeah, I didn't see that coming. 
Neither did Marcus. <laughs> and then Elsie turned and abjured Debbie, which was a long yeah. time coming. Mm -hmm. Now Debbie going cray cray. She smelt it, pelt it. She pelt it, smelt it, and dealt it. Let's just call it a day. Sam, Sam was Sam. You got off yeah. on a get out of jail for free card. Mm -hmm. But can we talk about the fact that Jesus basically saved, saved everybody? the day? I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be Lafayette. I thought for sure Lafayette would suck up Marnie. Well, or no, suck up, <laughs> not suck up Marnie. I mean, that story's not done. You know, they're they're no, still. No, well, that. I mean, but in terms of getting the witches freed from the, the magic box, I'm okay, sorry. Thank God, that's over. Info. That was Let's totally Jesus is doing, right? Yeah, you did a good job, even though you had to carve your crazy initials something into your arm and like show your demon face and, and breathe like, fire. Put that and horrible crap. scarf on. Ugh. Ugh. But apparently, you had to kill your best friend and teacher. So, and she's not happy about that. And then can we talk about Andy in the woods just for a minute? I but, saw a ball of light and it. A beautiful woman came out and ravaged me. And she gave me her ET finger. And I hope he had protection. Yeah, other things could end up glowing. Exactly. Uh, so, you want to go get yourself checked out there, yeah. Andy Belfour. Right. And, then, and then Arlene comes in to come and like impart a message for one to, to grow on. And okay, she's the ginger of Merlot. She is not the friggin' Roma Downey. She's not the sage of Bon Tom. You know, bon Tom. Captain Zagnat. King Zignat. Yes. King Zagnon. We already had too many fairies. And I don't just mean in this apartment. Uh, I mean on True Blood. We but don't they were an, away for so long. And all of a sudden they come back one. just to bonk they Andy? Didn't, they didn't, what? No, we don't need more fairy storylines. I'm sorry. But at least the break room is a little... There's a little more elbow room in the break room. Because they killed off several characters this, this episode. Get out! <laughs> Who would you witch slap this week? God damn it. I would slap I would I would get a two for one special because Marnie and Antonia are are double timing in the body and I would slap both of them because hello, you you off one of your own and then you go, Oh I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. Yeah. All the magic supplies, Mr. Brujo, are yours. Whatever you wanna do, just do it. I'm just gonna like chill out. What? You you were in the room while he's getting stuff to do his thing and you can't put together like the idea that he's not these are not that his anesthetic his potpourri is not for medicinal purposes there's no stitch witchery like, didn't reach for any band-aids there's no alcohol no cotton balls what i didn't see any bactine in there martonia ugh. i can barely pick up my wrist because i'm so disgusted because it's so limp so lame I'm gonna I'm gonna witch slap all the vampires. St line them up. Oh, <laughs> they acted like idiots this week. I'm sorry. Like the whole the whole you know vampire eighteen bullshit. Pam was being an idiot. You got bazookas and bazooka. And then he was being an idiot to her. And then and then they were being idiots to each other by like saying like oh kill me and then I'll kill you. It and made then... no sense. And then like once they knew that there was like a sunlight thing around the the magic shop. What, and, and that this person had made people meet, meet the sun involuntarily before. Like 400 mile perimeter they, It's like whatever. they stood there. It's like, no, just you go and figure something else out. Like, make, Sylvia yourselves, make another plan. I don't care if it feels like PMS. <laughs> you take, take a, a couple of pills. You take a fucking Motrin, you go home, you work shit out. And that whole, like, interpretive dance scene where they, like... I'm a zombie. No, I'm a vampire. No, I'm a... I'm a dancer. Interpretive dance. It didn't work for me. Sorry. So all the witch, all the vampires have gone home. Now we're gonna write down the character with whom we would like to do bad things the most. It's not because we want to. Because we have to. All right, Three, so. two, one. Go. go. You can't put yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that was that oh, was Andy. Mean, Hello, Andy Belfour. You mean the, the fairy fucker? Um, I don't know. There was something about his third and fourth gear I'm very curious about. Oh, well that... I mean, that was in his memory, third and fourth gear. I mean, we don't know if there was actually a... We don't I know don't if he know. got out of the park, for crying out loud. I know. Oh, I cut out the carbs. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh. I said Jesus. Because he looked good. He did. He did. Sorry. When he, he like, 
he's like, I have to get on my brouhaha or whatever. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, his muscles like, all flex. He's like, I need to use the power of my heaving man bosoms in this polo his shirt. Chesticles. And just this, and when he was falling asleep with my band, he was like, I just, I, I killed my best friend and mentor, mm -hmm. but oh. I saved the world and I killed my best friend. I'm so sleepy. Oh. oh my god, girl, I'm just <gasps> my morning. B bitch oh. on the ceiling, bitch on the ceiling. Whatever. <laughs> um, Suki, when you use your fairy power to break a spell that Marnie's casting in the circle. Uh, good. When you are trapped inside of a ring of fire by a spell by the same witch, why don't you just use your powers again? Like, you, you know your fairy powers break the enchantments. Can't you just, like, blast a little hole? Or at the very least, stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. It would take two seconds. Help me, help me. No, come on. It You're was, a strong woman, and you are even more than that. I it think. was very weak, Suki. I don't like... We have not had much weak Suki this season, and I did not like seeing it back again. This week's Witch Bucket um, was actually... Several people asked a similar question, so we're just going to pick the first person to ask the question. Inku... Inkufish? Inkufish23. Oh. The season is taking bigger risks with the recent Tommy death. My question is, what other major player do you think is likely to die? I have a gut feeling about Pam or Luna. Who do you think is most likely to die in the finale? Well, Jesus, right now, is oh. number one on my list. I don't want to say it. I don't either. He's adorable, and Lafayette needs to grow as a wizard. <laughs> and he, and Jesus is a good teacher. Yeah. I always but, feel like they're making it too obvious, though. Right? I mean... Do you think Lafayette's going to get it? I don't know. Jesus is the one that cast Mavis out of it. Lafayette. Yeah, we did see Mavis sort of disappear. So I think Jesus sort of... needs to cast Marnie out of Lafayette. So hopefully he'll be around. <laughs> I do not Ooh. feel entirely confident about Terry, to be honest with you. I'm worried for Terry. I don't oh, know no. why. Well, I think because they gave him like a whole episode with Andy and they made him so awesome. And it was this beautiful kind of thing. And he and Arlene are happy and like happiness never lasts in these things. I almost think Pam and I, I, know. I, I know Pam no because j'adore Pam yeah. and but like she's sort of acting crazy right now what about Nan Flanagan? Ugh man Bill's gonna find a way to throw you under the bus I mean look what he did to his last boss actually his last two bosses <laughs> Bill, Bill's a terrible employee did you think about that? He killed Sophie Ann. He killed Russell. He tried to kill Eric. Um, yeah. Nan, Nan, your days are numbered. Don't ever hire Bill, is what I'm saying, basically. Because bitch will know. cut you. Bitch will know me Malone you into <laughs> next week. But you're getting pushed down that flight of stairs if you hire Bill, mm -hmm. Bill Compton. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> He's gonna know me Malone your ass. There is one more opportunity to ask a witch bucket question. For the, for the end of the season, and uh, we will read the last one next week, and we'll either do the drawing in the finale vlog, or we'll do a special vlog after, if there's week. too much to discuss. <laughs> what would you rate? I think a seven is a good number. It's not too high, because it didn't deserve a high number, but it, there was a lot of good things that happened. But at the same time, I was very frustrated and uh, confused by some things. The whole fairy thing, what the hell is going on there? You're, the season starts with the fairy crazy cray, and then I've waited all season for something to happen. A fairy comes back finally and like boinks Andy. Uh, what, <laughs> what's that have to do with anything? The whole Bill, Suki, Eric triangle like just kind of dropped and like disappeared. I think it's supposed to still be there, but they did not communicate it well. All of the the Wiccans in the store, I mean, if know. you at least got together and like tried to overtake Marnie, like you could like 
stuff a sock in her mouth or something and like hold her hands down you could and like, tighten that awful belt she was always wearing just too tight i mean uh, you, then she couldn't make any spells happen like what the hell yeah no like, one ever tried to interrupt her no one was like hey 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 over uh, here uh, uh, over uh, uh, this is just a strange place to be one episode away from the finale i would probably give it a six the whole witch vampire standoff felt very muddled to me. I don't know. Yeah. Marty's character is, was very... One minute she was very smart, and, and then she was incredibly gullible, and then she was not paying attention or something, and then uh, and then she was really vicious, and it, it just was kind of all over the place. And the vampires just kind of stood there the whole time and waited for shit to happen to them. It wasn't very... It wasn't tense. And, and I think because of that, a lot of things that happened felt kind of silly. Like the whole, you know, liturgical dance number that the vampires did towards the wall was kind of silly to me. But on the other hand, I think Alejandro did a great job. Kevin Ale 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 Alejandro. And I think Joe Manganiello did a great job, Mangiana Mellos, um, which I did not see coming at all. That was the only true surprise of the, of the whole episode. Props to him. Um, but the rest of it just kind of felt messy. So I hope the finale will kind of pull things together and be a little tighter. So between the two of us, it's a Six, Six and, and a half. half. Which is pretty low. So low has been all season. Yes. But we've been lower than this in past seasons, haven't we? Have we? We'd have to go look. Maybe during the Marianne dredge. Oh, don't even go there. Don't even go no. to... Mm, don't even don't even lay that egg. We will be back next week. I'll be back because I want to see what the hell's going on next week, God damn it! The finale, it'll be Halloween... We're really excited about it. Really, really excited about it. We hope you guys are too. Um, and we hope that there will be some resolution to a lot of these things. I have really high expectations for next week. Anything can happen on Halloween. Anything can happen on Halloween. Yeah, so we will see you next week for the finale. And until next time, uh, I'm Andy. I'm Brian. I'm Marnie. I'm... Flarney. I'm... <laughs> Wow.